Writing equations for acid-base reactions. Write a molecular and net ionic equation for the reaction between aqueous HI and aqueous BaOH taken twice. First thing we have to do is recognize what is an acid and what is a base. In HI, aqueous, we have a positive hydrogen that we call a proton that is combined with a negative iodine. In aqueous solution, this dissociates to form H plus and OH minus. This is reacting with barium hydroxide that's made up of a positive barium ion and negative hydroxide. And this is an aqueous solution. The reaction occurs when the positive hydrogen ion or proton from the acid is attracted to the negative hydroxide of the base forming HOH which we normally write as H2O and water is liquid so put an L in parentheses and then the second product is formed when the positive barium is attracted to the negative iodide so we get BA because the barium is plus two, it needs two iodides, I2. And barium iodide is an aqueous solution. So we now need to balance the equation. So we will rewrite this. H I aqueous plus B A O H taken twice aqueous reacts to form. We'll go ahead and write the water as H two O now liquid plus BA I2 aqueous. Now barium hydroxide has two OH groups which requires two protons. So we're going to put a two in front of the HI. This now gives me two hydrogens from the HI, another two from the hydroxide, so that's four. We only have two on the right hand side, so we'll put a two in front of the water. This is now a balanced molecular equation. Looking at the ionic equation, the HI actually occurs as two protons to HI plus aqueous and two iodides aqueous the barium hydroxide occurs as BA2 plus aqueous 
at least in dilute solution, and 2 OH minus aqueous. On the right side of the equation, we have two waters. That's molecular. And we have barium, 2 plus aqueous, plus 2 iodides aqueous. So this is the ionic equation. And we will cancel all species that occur on both sides of the equation. So we have two iodides. And we have barium that we can cancel. And we can also divide through by two. Because currently we have 2H plus aqueous plus 2 OH minus aqueous reacting to form two waters. So we'll just simply divide by 2. And this will give us our net ionic equation, which is simply H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous reacting to form H2O. And that's liquid. I would point out that this is the net ionic equation for the reaction of any strong acid with any strong base.